Uh, when an attacker is coming to me, because I was a defender, yeah. you need to push him away. You need to push him away. When the goal is over there, you know, and the shortest way is inside. The shortest way is inside. So I need to stand like this, and I need to push him aside. I need to push him on the difficult side, that he cannot score a goal. I am standing like this, and I push him this way. I push him this way, I'm a little bit lower like this, because there's the goal, and he can't score. But when I'm standing like this, in front of me, he can two sides. He can two sides. And when I'm standing like this, when the goal is there, when I'm standing like this, yeah, I make it too easy for him. Because so I want to push him on the side. So I'm a right defender. I want to push him a little bit. If he's far away, I push him far away from the goal. Tanker, we're looking for space, just like how we talked about uh -huh. the dribbling. So if, uh -huh. if a defender is trying to push you into uh, a bad space or a limited space, for me, we stop dribbling. It's not on, we pass the ball away, because this is already, it's when done. He needs, when he needs to turn, when he needs to turn, the defender they did a great job. Yeah. When he passed me and I can shoot on the goal, yeah, the defender failed. You know, improving reactions for us, um, a lot of it's going to be just seeing a lot of shots. You know, I always teach my guys, if you're set, and go for everything. So we turn, go center off the top leg, turning, getting in between the cones. You know, if you're still moving the feet, sometimes you don't give yourself a chance. But I always say be set. And even if you think the ball is going 20 yards wide, you make the effort to go. Because then after a while, you become disciplined in being set and making a dive, you start to increase your range. Let's try and move our feet. And I had my guys turning off the post and trying to find the ball as it was coming. That's going to improve reaction time. So when we're diving in soccer, in football, what we want to do is we're always still catching with our W as we talked about before. Always hands out in front. Same applies here. When we dive, there's first from our stance, the initial step towards the ball, going forward. Next would be the hips, and then the hands behind the ball. So when we land, it's still the same W. One hand behind the ball, so it can't go to your net. One hand on top of the ball, so you keep it grounded. This is nice and safe. Arms out in front to protect your face. So every time the same. Step, collapse, hands to the ball. And we always want our elbow out in front of us so that we don't land on it and hurt our ribs. So always hands out in front. Nice cushion. So this leg, if we need, maybe we lose the ball, we can cover it like this, yeah, and protect from, from, uh, from an attacker. Also, if we mishandle a ball, we have to get up fast. This, is, this leg is used to kick ourselves back up and do a good stance. You can use the bottom hand if you like. So you, maybe you miss a shot, use the bottom hand, top leg, like a kick. Like yep. Yes. That gives you a little bit of momentum getting up into that. With the bottom hand with the top leg. Nice rocking motion. I'm Andrew Dykstra with DC United. I'm the goalkeeper for the first team. I'm out here today training with our, uh, our academy. All right, this was it for this evening. Uh, I want to say... Satu dua tiga ampat. Bellagio Bola Manta! <laughs> wow, man, I'm a professional now. <laughs>